Greetings everyone, back down at the build site and today I went and got a, a ditch witch and I want to try to get some of that underground conduit uh, in place before the cement pour. So let's get this thing unloaded and we'll get started. So before I rough this in, I want to make sure that I don't, I'm not under a window because we have three windows along this garage wall. And the first window is at five foot seven. So I am pretty sure we are way beyond that. Oh yeah. And that is five foot seven from well, I guess it'd be a half inch, half inch off that far form down there. So I am plenty good. So that's going to be the angle that I want to come in with the trencher. So let's get that marked out. All right. So I made a little mark going kind of the angle I want to go in. Let's this off right in there like that all right I will probably have to move that stake unless I can go right next to it maybe I'll try to go right next to that and See what happens well if i go right next to it, it's going to fall in so i will probably have to move it um yeah let's get that out before we actually turn on the trencher i've got that stake out this one's driven in pretty hard i'm going to leave it because i'll be kind of going under it anyway so no sense in taking that one out let's get the trencher lined up and get going
I am not sure that is going to go deep enough for me. Let me get my trench shovel and clean out the bottom. Uh, it's only about 28 inches deep or so, so apparently the 36 bar must not be able to turn down deep enough to get three feet down. Um, this conduit needs to be 39 inches to the bottom of the trench. So let me grab a trench shovel and see what I got. I couldn't get the trencher any closer. The tire of the trencher was hitting the forms. So I'm gonna have to hand dig the rest of that out. And the crazy thing is, I took that uh, jackhammer back to performance heating and air yesterday. I should have kept it one more day, but we'll see. This is fairly soft over here, so hoping I can just kind of claw hammer the rest out. Um, it doesn't have to be as deep because of that sweep coming up, so I'll just have to have a kind of an angle going up from the bottom of the trench and um, I'm gonna get I'm gonna do that later since I'm paying for the rental on the trencher I'm gonna go over and trench in a couple of lines that I need for lighting out here in the portico tray so I'm gonna come in here at a 45 degree angle make a cut and then I'll reposition and I'll do a straight line out here back to this pier and I will make another 45 cut in. So my line will go down, 90 out, 45, run along here. I would have run it straight, but my ditch witch would be digging up my all the support all the nice supports that uh, Gary, Mike, and Mark put in. So I'll just 45. And the nice thing is it'll be out here in the dirt rather than buried under concrete. And then I will trench from the pier here over to the entry so I can catch a light switch just inside the entry to turn these on. I wanted to reposition the trencher because when I was backing up, you can see it's throwing all the dirt on that side. And when I get here, I don't want it to throw all the dirt in my form. So now it'll be kicking the dirt that way. So let me get this uh, cleaned up and out of the way so I can drive this on a nice flat surface. Then I'll come in right here and trench back to where I'm at. Now I need to trench from this pier to the entry and 
Uh, I'm going to paint a line <laughs> so I kind of stay straight. Uh, I looked out on this one. It was fairly straight. I started to go off this way just a little bit and then I corrected it. And of course, I got that big pile in the middle because I was trenching back this way and it filled. But uh, now it should be easy to scoop out because I've connected the ditches. So let's get a line painted over here. I got the line in, but this pile of dirt was throwing the trencher all off. So we get my tractor and scoop this up and move it over a little bit so the tractor can come through nice and flat because it was doing wonky and it did a wheelie and I don't want to fight it. That one is done. Uh, I just need to clean out the dirt inside and that conduit will run and I will punch through the foundation and just run it out. And then uh, later when we're running electrical, I'll tie the conduit in to a, a box and then run the wire up in the wall to the switch. So now I have to do the same thing here back there. Uh, that way we can have some lights and plugs out on those far piers. I am not going to do that one because it's a small porch. Uh, we'll just have lights on the walls of the house. And with that hard rock over there, this trencher would never go through that. So, uh, no, I'm not going to put any electrical out on, on those. It's just too, too hard rock over there. So let's get this fired up and drive it around the back. So on these, I'll be able to trench straight across to that one. And then what I will probably do is go straight in that way. That pier kind of lines up with that interior uh, footing so it might be kind of difficult to get my conduit through the foundation over there where this is a perpendicular wall so it'll be easy to punch through so straight this way and straight that way let's get some lines painted up
I think I will start down there and work my way to this one and then do this one. That way when I'm done trenching this I only have to walk the trencher over the trench once. So let me get started over here. Okay, that one was done. That actually was pretty easy. Not a lot of tree roots and whatnot to dig through like we did in the front. And so we got that across there and then back to the house. So that should be it for the trenching. Let's get this loaded back up. Uh, I'm gonna take it up to the house and rinse it off and then return it. We are all loaded up, safety chain front, safety chain in back. and we are pinned in here and the clip is attached so and then the last thing is the tilt trailer is pinned also so i think we're ready to go today's video has gotten quite lengthy so i think i will break it up into two parts so stay tuned for part two, where Carrie comes down to help me install the conduit. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.